We have now gathered at Guard's headquarters in Diab Barracks. We'll be meeting the man who was given a very significant role in NDP 2011, Parade Commander Lieutenant Colonel Fahmi. My name is uh, Lieutenant Colonel Mohamed Fahmi. Um, I'm 38 to 39 years old. Okay. Um, currently, my appointment is uh, Head GS of uh, HQ Guards. All right. Uh, this year, my appointment is a Parade Commander for NDP 2011. Previously, I'm the CEO of uh, Third Battalion Singapore Guards. All right, I'm married. I have uh, four kids, so we have three boys and then uh, one baby baby daughter. Okay. My family is very supportive. Okay, uh, they know that it's gonna be a very busy year for me. They very proud, obviously. All right, the kids, uh, as I said, my son will always want to see, see me action. Uh, in terms of time management, my wife covers a lot of my you know my gaps and my. <laughs> All the times I couldn't be with the family. I think my wife did a fantastic job. Okay, actually I, I enjoy playing sports a lot. All right, as I said, I like I love to play soccer, which I need to put a hole. And how I make it up is by doing a lot of running, a lot of running, swimming when uh, if time is allowed, and I love to do cycling. So my cycling buddy uh, is my brother, my friends, my all my outside friends, and some of my army friends. And we cycle. Sometimes we cycle to the Saru. So this is some of the things that I love to do. I don't know, torture myself, that's all. My primary role as a parade commander is to give a clear word of commands to the participants. My commands will make a lot of difference. So that is my primary role. My secondary role is actually obviously to work together with Jennifer um, and take care of the well-being of the uh, participants. Uh, I also want to uh, engage every participants in the parade. The initial part when I got a phone call from CGO that uh, you know I was uh, one of the names candidates to be the uh, parade commander, I said, "Are they serious about this?" Because when I was uh, informed, I was the uh, CEO of Three Guards, and we were in the thick of the training. And when I received the news, I was shocked in my life. You know, I stunned for a while. Then I thought, they collect back. Then oh no, when my staff and all my soldiers look at me, they said, "Why are you stunned?" And I, then I told them that I know I got this appointment. So I guess it's, it's a challenge, and I love challenges, you know. So I, I'll take it in a good strike. Frankly, I never thought I would become a commander, like, you know. Uh, but I was chosen last year to be the reserve, and that makes me to be the actual for this year. So if you look at it, the training part, we have about two years. Like, okay? But uh, I, I'm very glad and very happy that, uh, you know, given the opportunity to be a parade commander this year. Jennifer! <laughs> Jennifer, she's hot. No, I'm, I am Jennifer. Is a, we are very good, close friends. I treat him, I treat her, I treat her like I you know my sister. As we know that uh, Jennifer is our parade regiment, uh, regimental sergeant major. She had that sporty look, and she had a very you know firm smile on his face. And I, I, I personally think she has all the credentials in the world to be the parade RSM this year. All right, she handles the parade beautifully. She get things done without even frowning. Okay, and uh, I think she's uh, one of the best uh, SMs I've worked before. <laughs> I think it's okay. All right, it's okay for her to be on on the spotlight for this uh, and uh, for this NDP, and I love it. I love that uh, she's she's in the spotlight. I rather be a lamppost. <laughs> the parade commander leads the parade, just as how the nation spirit guides its people. We now ask Lieutenant Colonel Fami what the Singapore spirit means to him. First one is actually is about resilience. It's about overcoming uh, adversity, overcoming uh, meeting challenges. All right, uh, as individual and collectively as a as a Singaporean, if every one of us have this mentality that we want to improve ourselves, everyone uh, collectively we can improve together as a nation.